Hello, it's Soapbox Monday. This is gonna be a semi mini Soapbox Monday, but it's a Soapbox Monday that needs to happen, okay? A baby mini Soapbox Monday that needs to take place. Now, mind you, please don't judge me for my no makeup skills today. And yes, I know I've got this drop and these drops and this drop and every other drop on the planet for my scratch corneas for, you know, I need to go take a shower, put them in and hang out with my eyes closed and not check emails for three hours. We won't talk about that right now. I'll do that later. Don't worry about it. But I did promise my husband that I was going to do this wonderful soapbox today on specialty. Okay. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. So before I actually say this soapbox, I want to make sure that I make a very, 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 very blanket statement here. The blanket statement for this particular video is this video is not intended for anybody in specific. So please understand that this video is not for you. It's not for anyone in specific. Hi, how are you? It's not for you. It's not for any specific athlete. It's not for anybody that did anything wrong. It's not for anybody that made me and John upset. It's just a simple video to point out a couple things that like people should really understand, okay? John was just calling me, so I had to end the call. So here's where we're at, all right? Now, I would like to know that people that ask for sponsorships or people that ask for any sort of, you know, sponsorships, okay? People that ask for that kind of stuff or they ask for money or they ask for, you know, trying to pay for their shows or trying to pay for medications or trying to pay for this, that, and the other. We do do sponsorships and we do sponsor athletes and we do help people and we definitely have a team and a group of people. But my question is, is I don't know if it's just the generation. I definitely mentioned this in previous videos before, but I'm, I'm just trying to understand what this generation means. You know, it's almost like a sense of entitlement of the entitlement of that. I am entitled to something. And I brought this up in like multiple videos before where I'm entitled to something. Okay. I, my name is Sharice Chorus, and I am entitled because my name is Sharice Chorus, and I deserve this, this, and this because I am Sharice. No, it doesn't work that way, people. It just doesn't. I don't know what the hell you guys are thinking. The other day, I actually went into my office, and we have like 11 or 12 girls that work in there. And it was funny because I literally went into the office, and I go, oh, my God, guys, you would not believe what just happened. And they go, what? And I go, Oh my God. So I just went into Publix, right? And they go, yeah. And I go, and I went down the cereal aisle and I grabbed a box of Lucky Charms. I grabbed Pops and I went down the gum aisle and I grabbed some Orbit and I went down to the register and I told the girl at the register and I go, I need this stuff. Like I need it for free because my name is Therese and I, I own Titan Medical Center. So I should have it for free. And you know what? Publix gave it to me for free. And they were like, really? And you go, yeah. I was like, no way, that really happened? I'm like, no, you idiots. So, rewind. Nothing in life is for free, okay? Nothing in life is for free. People have no problem asking for shit all the time. Okay, can I get a flight here? Can I get free clothes? Can I get free supplements? Can I get free this? I know that like, let me down this for a second. <laughs> I think people think that things are free for us. Like maybe that we don't pay for the clothes that we get in. We pay for those clothes. So the clothes that go out to people, we pay for those clothes, okay? Flights, like the, the airplanes in, in the sky that take you somewhere. We pay for that. Like, it's not for free, right? And then food, you know? We pay for that too. Woosah. I'm woosah, John. Don't woosah me on live. 
I love you too, baby. Okay, we also pay for any supplementations, therapy packages, that kind of stuff. That is not free either. I mean, if it was free, man, we'd be balling, right? But it's not. So my whole point here is, is that people are so quick to press the button to ask for something. But they're so quick to not return the favor. So I'm just trying to figure out, and any input here would be so awesome. I would love any input at all, okay? I'm not being serious. I mean, everybody always thinks I'm being serious, but I mean, half the time I look like I'm being serious, but I'm really not being that serious. Um, but I just, any input would be amazing. I would love it. But I just want to understand, like, you know, I mean, why do people feel entitled? You know, why, why is it so easy to ask for things and then not return any favors? You know, I mean, for instance, if you're going to, if we're going to sponsor you, let's just say we're going to sponsor you and we say, Hey, listen, we want you to post out X amount of times per week. We want you to wear your Titan shirt. We want you to do this, do that. A couple little itty bitty, teeny little easy things to do. And then you don't do any of it. Right. And then we address it with you and then you still don't do it. And then we pull it from you a year later after we still sponsored you for a whole year <laughs> because me and John are just, just too nice. We suck. We really suck at like pulling sponsorships. We suck bad. I mean, we are horrible at it. You know, we'll just continue to do it and just get to the point where we're just like, listen, dude, we've asked you to do this a hundred times. And, and you just aren't doing it. And you, I don't understand what is so difficult about doing it. I mean, we're, we're doing our part. Why won't you do your part? I just, I don't understand. Why is it so hard? I just, I don't, I don't get it. Why? I don't, I'm not understanding. I really wish I could just understand a little bit. You know, I just, if somebody did something for me, right? I would want to return the favor some way, shape or format right? Wouldn't you want to return the favor some way, shape, or format? Usually when you're sponsored by somebody, you are in some sort of contract of doing something that you have to meet, some sort of bar that you have to meet on your end. So it's just, it's kind of crazy sometimes because, you know, people, they won't meet their bar and then time goes on and then all of a sudden you just get like a random, again, let me just make sure I just Put this in there. This is not about anybody in particular, so please don't think you're that special. So then you'll just randomly text us saying, hey, I need A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and I need it on my doorstep by Thursday. And we're like, hey, but remember that one time like we asked you to do this one thing, you know, like to post that one time, remember? <laughs> and then you didn't do it. We just want to know why. Why not? Like, it's so easy. All you have to do is, like, press a button. I'm just trying to figure it out. So, I know. We need to be a little bit more firm. This is why I don't sponsor people. I know, but it's like, we want to sponsor people. You know, we like to sponsor people. It's cool. It's nice to have, like, a, a like the people we do sponsor. I'm going to give some props to some of the people we do sponsor. So, it's not totally negative because I am negative Nancy. 70% of the time, but that's why I have John because he's positive. But anyways, so I mean, we have some really, really great sponsored athletes. I'm not going to lie. Okay. But the whole thing is, is like, we're give, 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 give. But it's, you know, I've never been in a situation or seen so many people just take, 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 take. And it, you know, then you ask for one thing and it's like, you're asking for something so minute sometimes and you can't even get that accomplished. And I'm just, I, I don't, I just don't understand. I wish I could understand. I'm doing the live because I'm hoping maybe somebody can give me some sort of, maybe I'm getting old. I mean, I'm only 33 or 34 or 32 somewhere. Who cares? I'm in my early thirties, but I mean, anyways, but I mean, regardless of the fact of how old I am, whether I'm 25, 35, 45, 55, you know, it, at the end of the day, if you're, if somebody's doing something for you, you should definitely return the favor. Somebody's taking good care of you. You should 
Do some like do something in return. Especially when you're supposed to be sponsored. You're a sponsored person. Right? I mean, Katina, right? Have to learn, yeah, myself. Don, I mean, come on, give me some feedback here, Don. I'm telling you. I mean, it's it's not that hard. I understand that people get busy. Trust me, if anybody understands being busy, it's me. Okay? I am mean, lucky if I get to wash my hair twice a week, okay? So I understand. But when somebody does something for you, yes, you should totally reciprocate. I mean, it's, it's not that complicated to do, guys. And I mean, not for nothing, and correct me if I'm wrong, John and I always take care of our people. And it just, it does suck sometimes when we take really good care of people. And it doesn't quite work out on the other end that way. And, you know, it is hard for us on our end when we take such good care of people and the expectations on their end, and they still haven't done anything, like literally, Say we ask, okay, we want you to post out two or three times a week. Let's just say, that, that's an example, okay? We want you to post out two, three times a week. Okay, yeah, I definitely will. Okay, okay, okay. I need my package and I need this and I need fat burners and I need fat loss cream and Hercules potion and blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right, so scroll, 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 scroll. Hmm. Time medical? Hmm. Mm -mm. Let's see. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Mm. Time medical? Mm -mm. Maybe a different platform. Instagram? Scroll, scroll, scroll. Mm -mm. Why not? Why is it so hard? I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Anyways, I really don't understand. Maybe I'll never understand. I figured I'd share. Maybe I can get a little bit of input one day from you guys. Probably a reason why you guys are successful. Weird. We're generous on it. Yes, we are generous, Keith. Um, Tina, I love you. Honestly, I'll be totally honest with you. We have been in situations where, where we've had, whether it was a friend, employees, in bad situations. And we've taken care of them. We've taken care of them. And you know what it is, guys? Like, I swear to you not. We've taken care of them. Let's just take the whole sponsored athlete thing out. I'm going to just remove that entire conversation out of this live altogether. We've taken care of the people like that we care about and haven't expected a damn thing in return. Nothing. Nothing. We don't want the money back. We don't want anything from you. The only thing we ask is your loyalty, your love, your friendship. Just... You know, be there for me one day if I ever need you. Is that so difficult? I mean, it doesn't sound to be so difficult. I don't think it's that hard, right? Right? I mean, it's, it can't be that hard. It can't be that hard. So, I mean, I just, I, I wanted to put it out there because I, we literally get hit up about sponsorships every single day. Every single day. I, I couldn't, I, I, I scroll through Instagram sometimes and, and Facebook and I'm like, wow, this is crazy how many people, and some people, they just, they don't even, they don't even try to beat around the bush. They're just like, Hey, I want free stuff. I'm like, I want free stuff too. I, I want free aquapana. You think that, you know, Publix will hook me up with 24 pack? No, they won't. Okay. So. That's life. I'm a realist. It's not going to happen. Okay? <sighs> okay. Unless you're under contract. You think, John, you think that Aquapano put me under, under contract since I'm giving them some play on my live? <laughs> Anyways, guys. We take care of our people. All we ask is them to take care of us in return. We're not asking for much. We just... I, I am still trying to understand the generation of entitlement because I'm not understanding it. I probably will never understand it. I've never grown up in that generation. Um, and I will make sure that my son does not ever, 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 ever think for one moment in his life ever that he is entitled to something or that somebody owes him anything. Because I can assure you, that no one ever owes you anything, ever. Just remember that in these words. I shall leave you with this. 
you and John and the office people. Thank you so much. We love you too, Janie. What up, Steve? <laughs> gotta go earn it. Uh, yeah, I gotta earn it, man. I'm telling you. We just give it. That's the problem. I think that is the problem. Maybe that's the problem. We give it in good faith. And then we give it in good faith. And we uh, then we get like hooked on this good faith thingy majiggy. And then we're stuck. Because we don't know how to pull the good faith string. And then they, and then they want stuff. And then we're like, oh man. How do we tell them no? Like how do we say shit? Like can you just do what you're supposed to do? Then we got to make like, you know, meanies. Now we got to be mean. What do you mean? Nobody wants to be mean. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, guys. I don't know. <sighs> I, I better go put some drops in my eyes and get some sleep. Anyways, I appreciate any input on here. I don't know everything, nor do I ever claim to know everything. So any input, I shall... Take in Jeff. Uh, Jeff, I will take any input you've got. So for those of you that are out there, there are some of you that are out there that are Titan family and that have been Titan family for a long time. I love you. You know who you are. And you guys are the bomb. And you guys are not included in this little gig that I'm talking about here. Look, it's John. He just got back from Peter's baseball. Say hi. Hey guys. He said, hey guys. Anyways, my entitlement speech is over. Peter got his pictures. And Peter got his baseball pictures. So I'm going to go look at that. Michelle, my baby kangaroo, I love you so much. Mwah. And I'll talk to you soon. Look at little, oh, how adorable. Look at this child that will never, ever, ever think that anything is ever entitled to him ever see that child right there he'll never ever ever think that have a good night guys